everyone, it's Joe Jacoby here, and welcome to our 1996 uh, Team USA Olympic gear collection. I gotta tell you, this one is so different. You won't see another collection like it, not because there aren't other athletes that might be selling uh, their 1996 Olympic gear, but this also includes a lot of uh, memorabilia and collectible items from the Olympic Whitewater Canoe Slalom event at the Ocoee River, which is where we've been living for the last 20 years. The 1996 Olympics is what actually brought us here. So we have a lot to get to, so we're going to kind of just jump right into it and start. And just off to the side here, you'll see the 1996 Olympic opening ceremony uniform. Now, most of the Olympic gear that you see here is a women's team collection. Uh, that belongs to my wife, Lisa, who was the Olympic team leader for the Whitewater Canoe Slalom team. And as uh, a member of the U.S. Olympic delegation, she got the full Olympic team um, issue everything we'll get into that so that's the opening ceremony the beautiful red blazer the blue tie comes with a uh, a beige skirt as well just a beautiful beautiful opening ceremony um, outfit um, as we move just below we get into some of the shirts and polos um, a uh, tank top you notice uh, a, a lot of this gear the Olympic team gear in 1996 was made by Champion Sporting Goods, a big sporting goods retailer in the mid-1990s. They did everything in those Olympic colors for the Atlanta Olympic Games, green, red, and white. So you see a lot of the Team USA gear um, is mixed a lot with the Atlanta Olympic logo is cool, which is the way it should be when the, uh, when the Olympic teams... Uh, Olympic Games is the home country. That kind of makes it night. Um, you will notice that over here there are a couple of polo shirts and, and just off to the far edge um, is actually one of the polo shirts of the Ocoee River, uh, the Olympic Whitewater Canoe Slalom venue. That's kind of one of these event collectibles that we've added into this collection. Um, you'll notice at the very front a, a few of the bags that all of this gear is going to be shipped uh, to um, who's ever going to own this collection next. Two large duffel bags, a, a, a computer bag as well. And then coming across here, you'll notice the, uh, the headwear um, for the Atlanta Olympic Games. We have a couple of caps. Uh, we also have um, the, uh, the straw uh, or the, the, the golf hat with the, the full visor, a pair of sandals. It just an outstanding rain suit. This is not only is it really beautiful, but it is uh, it's really great quality as well. Um, one of the training bibs from the Ocoee River, um, and uh, a couple of the items I wanted to just show you that um, you know who could forget the uh, 1996 Olympic podium uh, uniform. This is this is the podium uniform from the 1996 Olympic Games that's going to be included in this collection. Um, you'll notice on the back uh, the Olympic team and the Olympic rings in uh, 1996. Um, also, we have a, uh, a really nice denim casual outfit. Remember, this is, this is a ladies' uh, collection. It actually has the uh, USA Olympic logo and the Atlanta Olympic logo on the sleeve. This is a champion outfit and actually comes with the, uh, with the white denim jeans as well. Um, I mentioned some of these cool items that come with this as well. Uh, so <laughs> this is the Olympic Barbie that was given to the U.S. Olympic team delegation at team processing. That's included. Um, we have a lot of pins that will be included, but I just wanted to uh, just show you a, um, a training pin collection here. We'll have a number of other uh, pins, uh, including a special one I'll get to in just a moment. Um, came across the uh, Centennial Olympic Games ticket request book still in plastic and what's kind of cool about it is that you'll see it's a numbered collection there were 2,000 of these printed and uh, this is number 255 so that's going to be included which is pretty cool um the Olympic team swatch I, I love this it has the US Olympic rings on the band and the Atlanta Olympic logo 
on the watch face. So that will be included in, in here. Um, Lisa and I both attended the Olympic opening ceremony in Atlanta. Just an incredible event, a very special night in Atlanta. They, um, the audience the, at the Olympic Games was very involved in the opening ceremonies. Uh, their instructions and everything that kind of came with your participation in the opening ceremonies came in this great green embroidered uh, case. And inside of that case um, came a, uh, a limited collection Olympic pin, opening ceremonies pin, only given to the people who attended the opening ceremonies. So that'll be included. Um, the uh, ticket for the opening ceremonies and I mentioned the audience was involved, so there was a part where at the 96 Olympic opening ceremonies, there were different color uh, handkerchiefs that, they, uh, that you held up and waved. So it comes with the instruction card, the audience stunt summary card is what they call it. And then there's this uh, terrific um, Olympic Games uh, opening ceremonies program in this very, um, just a very nice texture, kind of a clothy. Uh, texture on the cover that's going to be included in this and then um, we have an entire series for every olympic sport the um the uh ex the explanation booklet for each sport that talks about the venues the rules the teams and what was going so um we'll have that as well oh and i almost forgot uh, a couple of olympic flags here too the team usa flag and uh, there's also a Japanese team flag. And I'll just kind of finish on this. The best part of the 96 Olympics for us is the friendships that were made, the relationships, and really being up here in southeastern Tennessee where the Olympics kind of gave us an excuse to start our, our, our lives here. And we've been here for 20 years. One of the things that made that possible was that Lisa and I had a bed and breakfast. And for the entire year of 1996, we had the Japanese Olympic team staying with us. Uh, they became lifelong friends. We still keep in touch with them today. Uh, they gave us a Japanese team flag. We're going to include the flag um, in this collection as well. There, really, this is something that you you just wouldn't find anywhere else. Oh, I did. Um, I did forget one thing. Just thinking about the things that made the 1996 Olympic Games different. The Atlanta Organizing Committee created so many opportunities to involve the fans and just get them involved in lots of different ways in the Olympic Games and the lead up to the Olympic Games. Um, one of the things was is that they had opportunities for fans to uh, write good luck messages on t-shirts and then they, they gave those t-shirts to members of the U.S. Olympic delegation. We've got a few of those shirts uh, inside and I think that is interesting because um, it just to me is what I remember most about the Atlanta Olympic Games is just the spirit of the people and the community and what it took to put on what will be the last privately funded Olympic Games of our times. So if you have any questions about what you see here, um, we're very proud of this collection. Uh, don't hesitate to send me an email at joe at joejacoby.com and thanks for taking a look today.